This story I'm gonna tell you is a fact with my hand up if I had to die. Me and old Mab, I'm gonna let Geraldine rest a little bit tonight. I'm gonna tell you something that happened to me and my wife Mabel. Both of us are kinda out of the woods and we don't mind admitting that. But we went to New York with some real classy people, some business people we knew, who took us out to dinner, they called it. But it was night, so me and old Mabel called it supper. But took us out to the finest restaurant we was ever in in our life. And what I'm gonna tell you right now is an absolute fact with my hand up. We, I, I, in the very beginning, when we went in this place, I felt about as out of place as the Queen of England would have felt at a chitlin cookout. The, 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 the folks I was with was real class, and, 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 and I just ain't class. You know class is people that knows a whole lot of different things about a whole lot of different things, and I don't know all that much, but, but, the, but they was real classy people. And, and I picked up a menu, and my friend, my friend said, no, no, this is on us, this is on us, and I'm ordering. He said, I'm, I'm, we're going to have the specialty of the house. In a little while, waiters started coming and bringing just different things to us. And in the very beginning, they brought us a little ice cream about the size of your thumb in a little cone and had just handed it to us in a napkin. And, and I standing there looking at that thing. You know, I never have had a little bitty tiny ice cream like that, especially for I eat. <laughs> and, and, and I didn't understand, and my friend realized I didn't. He said, now, Wendy, he said, what that is? He said, that's sorbonate or something, he said. And he said, what it's for is to open up your palate. <laughs> well, I watched them, and they kind of wiggled it around. And see, I didn't even know I had a palate. I watched them wiggle it around in their mouth, so I wiggled it around in my mouth, and, 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 and they kept bringing food. In a, little while, in a little while, here come a string of waiters. Now, let me explain this. Some friends of the Goldsteins from up in Connecticut that done business with them was there too, so there's six of us in all. In a little while, here come these waiters with big old platters about this big after they done brought us everything in the place with six big old lobsters that was absolutely as big as the platters and, they were, and it was eyeballs and all. <laughs> sit, them things, sit them things down in front of us. Now, I don't think there's any question that me and my wife Melba have both seen lobsters. Uh, you know, in the movies or in a picture somewhere. I know we've seen but never on our plate. <laughs> and never looking at us. But there that thing laid, and, and, and I was trying, since I didn't know what that little bitty ice cream about the size of your thumb was, I didn't want to, I didn't want to come off too stupid. So, so I was trying to be kind of cool about that big old lobster. But then I realized my wife. Now my wife don't pull no punches, and she don't eat nothing strange. And I just knew she was going to embarrass us and make us all look bad. And, and I kind of glanced over there at her and I saw her looking down at that thing. And it was looking back up at her. And, and I knew any minute she was going to say the wrong thing. So with a lot of music going on in there and a lot of talking going on, I just leaned over in her ear and I said, don't hit it. I said, I'm pretty sure it's dead. <laughs> and then I leaned back up, hoping and praying that she'd just sit there and look at it and nothing else. And a little bit, I, feel, I felt her leaning over to me. And she said, I'm going to tell you something, boy. And I'm going to tell you one time. She said, she said, there's two things in this world I don't eat. One of them is cat, and the other one is whatever that is looking at me. So, so we sit there, and, and, and let me tell you this, they, they sit them lobsters down, and I knew that I had to make my family look good if I could. I knew she wasn't gonna do it. 
So, so I looked down there and they brought a bunch of little tools with it. So, so I very carefully watched my friends, the Goldsteins. I watched my buddy when he picked up this thing and he cracked that thing open. And then he took a little tool and he kind of split it apart, took a funny looking little fork and stuck in there and wiggled it around, pulled it out, dipped it in the butter and eat it. I cracked mine open, took my funny little fork, dug mine, and a little while I done eat every bit of it up and I was looking like I knew what I was doing, feeling real good about it. And in a little while, the strangest thing happened. I never had had this happen to me before, but then I never had been in a restaurant like that before. They come in there and eat by each one of our platters. They sit, they sit down a little bowl about that big around full of liquid. It was kind of pink looking. I never did figure out if the stuff in there was pink or if it's just a pink bowl that made the stuff look pink. But they sit it down there and, and I thought to myself, now I'm going to try not to look like an idiot with this. First of all, first of all, I said, I'm going to be the first one to move along with it. I'm not going to wait and let them see me watching everything. So I picked that thing up, and when I got it about... <laughs> when I got it about two inches from my mouth, I looked over there in my buddy's eyes and realized that I'd gone to the wrong part of my body with that bowl. But, but, but before you think that I am an out-and-out idiot, think about it just a minute. Now, the very first thing they brought us in that restaurant was that little bitty ice cream about the size of your thumb with sorbonate in it to rub around in your mouth and open up your palate. Don't it make sense? that the last thing they'd bring you was a little bowl of pink stuff to drink and close your palate back up. <laughs> they didn't bring no, no spoon, so I knew I wasn't supposed to spoon it out. They didn't bring no straw, so I knew I wasn't supposed to suck it out, so I picked it up to sip it out. But I knew I was wrong, I knew I was wrong, and so I watched them all real close, and the first thing I know, they're all dipping their fingers in there, washing their hands in that little bowl of warm liquid. And there I'm sitting with mine up at my mouth. So I looked over there at them and I said, nah, I don't think I'll wash my face right now, I'm just gonna wash my hands with y'all.